Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Who came with you here? Who came with you? I came with my spiritual father. Huh? With my spiritual father. Who's your spiritual father? Apostle Peace. Huh? Apostle Peace. You are apostle? No, I'm not an apostle. This man is a, you, apostle who? Oh, sorry. I came with my father. Huh? I came with my... You people here, you need older people sometimes. You understand? This is really affect the gospel today. You people here. So, you, know, you say Apostle Biz. Yeah, Apostle Biz is denying. Do you know the meaning of Apostle? No. Huh? No. You, you told them you're Apostle? Uh, no, no, I've never. They call you Apostle themselves? It's for the first time hearing him calling me an Apostle. You yes. say it's the first time? Because this, this boy wants to be a prophet. And uh, you, you know, I don't know, you people, I don't think you read the Bible. It's God who choose. God choose some to be. He decide. You don't want to be. God choose. Are you hearing me? Eh? Amen. Yeah, my boy. Because Amen. This, this will affect you tomorrow. For the time when you're supposed to be going to school, and maybe you study a course and do one, two, three. When you reach my age, you realize that life is difficult. Right now, you people here, who are young people, you were supposed to be saying, no, let me go to college and study something. Let me go and, because right now this opportunity, you want to be a prophet. And God is the one who choose. Ministry is not, it's really, it's very tough. I'm telling you, ministry is not to collect offering and to become rich. It's very, very tough. You need to be called by God. You need to be sure. There are many pastors who are not even prophets, who are very rich, who are, not, who are just going to the altar and preach and go home. People like you, you are young. You understand? It's time now that you can be in the church and worship God. You worship God. Are you hearing me? Amen. Worship God, you become serious. On the other side, you are studying something. And what you are studying, you know, you realize that it was not wasted. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. Huh? Amen. You say amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Huh? Yes. I say, in this age, to be honest, in this age of yours, I want to guide you. I'm not telling you alone. You understand? Mm -hmm. It is a time now that you here. Yeah. Because even here in South Africa, I want to tell you, gospel is going to be very difficult to preach. We are in the last days. It's going to be very difficult here. Here in South Africa. You don't even have a certificate. You don't have anything. Is it no good now in this age? You try to study something. You study something now. You understand? Yes. Eh? Yes. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult. There will be a time whereby these people here who are rushing to churches will say, we don't want to go to church. Because remember people were going to church because they want to hear. Now there will be a time of crusade now where there will be no issue of seed sowing. Uh, I don't know if I can say that. The time of the gospel will be preached and the end will come. The time of crusade is coming. You see the era is coming to an end. Now the time of the gospel of the truth is coming. You understand? Yes. So now it's better you study so that you'll be approved. So I'm just telling you when I look at you I, I, it's like I'm seeing my son where I can tell you my advice. 
So I'm telling you, it's like I'm telling many people here. There are many pastors here who are very big. Like this man here. Come here, brother. You need people like this one. You ask them. What's the meaning of having a church? Come, another one, come. They will tell you these people that church, my boy, you ask people like this one. You understand? They will tell you church is something that there are attacks, there are problems, there are challenges. People come and go. You understand? Yes. There's a lot of problems in the church because Satan sent his people in the church. The problem now is no longer outside, it's in the church now. So you, you want to be a prophet here. People are used for prophecies now. People have been prophesied, they are tired right now. There's no fulfillment of prophecy. So what is important for you to can do now? You go, you study the word. I mean, you study a course, particularly a course of the hands. If I'm you, I can study a mechanic to fix cars, to fix cars. And then when God has called you, he will call you when you are fixing cars there. That's why they say calling, he call you, leave that, come here. You see Peter was called when he was busy fishing fishes. When you, so be called when you are doing something. Don't be called when you are doing nothing, you want to be a prophet. No, it won't happen. You understand? Yes. God loves you and uh, I believe this decision uh, that I'm making you to take today, you won't regret 20 years to come. You understand? Yes. You will be rejoicing and say that day, that old man of Tembisa told you that uh, because you people here, you are, you are calling me with many names. So you, you say that old man told me this and uh, I'm grateful of that old man. God bless you. Even yourself. Huh? Yes, sir. Even yourself now. Amen. How old are you? I'm 20. Huh? 20, yes. 20? Yes, sir. Yes. So you heard what I said. That's why I say, I'm not telling you that one only. Amen. You people here, please. Uh, please, you young people, many of you young people here, please uh, find something to do. Our, our economy is going down. Please do something. Our economy, South Africa, is going down. South Africa is going. You people find something. Leave pastors to be pastors. Allow God to call you. He will call you and bring you here. You understand? Yes, God loves you. Are free. Congratulations.